I would like by Yevgeny Yevtuchensko. I would like to be born in every country, have a passport for them all, to throw all foreign offices into panic, be every fish in every ocean and every dog in the streets of the world. I don't want to bow down before any idols or play at being a Russian Orthodox church hippie, but I would like to plunge the world deep into Lake Baikal and surface snorting somewhere. Why not in the Mississippi, in my damned beloved universe? I would like to be a lonely weed, but not a delicate narcissist kissing his own mug in the mirror. I would like to be any of God's creatures, right down to the last mangy hyena, but never a tyrant, or even the cat of a tyrant. I would like to be reincarnated as a man in any image, a victim of prison tortures, a homeless child in the slums of Hong Kong, a living skeleton in Bangladesh, a holy beggar in Tibet, a black in Cape Town, but never in the image of Rambo. The only people whom I hate are the hypocrites, pickled hyenas in heavy syrup. I would like to lie under the knives of all the surgeons in the world, suffer all kinds of diseases, wounds and scars, be a victim of war, or, or a sweeper of cigarette butts, just so a filthy microbe of superiority doesn't creep inside. I would not like to be in the elite, nor of course in the cowardly herd, nor be a guard, of, guard dog of that herd, nor a shepherd, sheltered by that herd. I would, like, I would like happiness, but not at the expense of the unhappy. I would like freedom, but not at the expense of the unfree. I would like to love all the women in the world, and I would like to be a woman too, just once. Men have been diminished by Mother Nature. Why couldn't we give motherhood to men? If an innocent child stirred below his heart, man would probably not be so cruel. I would like to be man's daily bread, say, a cup of rice for a Vietnamese woman in mourning cheap wine in a Neapolitan worker's chatoria, or a tiny cube of cheese in orbit around the moon. Let them eat me, let them drink me. Only let my death be of some use. I would like to belong to all times, shock history so much that I would be amazed what a smart aleck I was. I would like to bring Nefertiti to Pushkin in a troika. I would like to increase the space of a moment a hundredfold so that in that same moment I could drink vodka with the fishermen in Siberia and sit together with Homer, Dante, Shakespeare, and Tolstoy, drinking anything except, of course, Coca-Cola, dance to the tom-toms in the Congo, strike at Renault, chase a ball with Brazilian boys at Capabanca Beach. I would like to know every language, like the secret waters under the earth and do all kinds of work at once. I would make sure that one Yevtuchensko was merely a poet and the second an underground fighter somewhere. I couldn't say where for security reasons. The third a student at Berkeley, the fourth a jolly Gregorian drinker, and the fifth maybe a teacher of Eskimo children in Alaska, the sixth a young president somewhere say modestly speaking in Sierra Leone, the seventh would still be shaking a rattle in his stroller, and the tenth, the hundredth, the millionth. For me, it's not enough to be myself. Let me be everyone. Every creature usually has a double, but God was stingy with the carbon paper, and in his paradise publishing corporation made a unique copy of me. But I shall muddle up all of God's cards, and I shall confound God. I shall be in a thousand copies to the end of my days, so that the earth buzzes with me and the computers go berserk in the world senses of me. I would like to fight all of your barricades, humanity, dying each night like an exhausted moon and resurrecting each morning like a newborn sun, with an immortal soft spot fontanel in my head. And when I die, a smart Alex Siberian Francois villain. Do not lay me in the earth of France or Italy, but in our Russian Siberian earth on a still green hill where I first felt that I was everyone. <laughs>